Jago, my dear children of class 10. This is your physical instructor, Edi Chavaria, and I welcome you all for today's class. So, in my, our today's class, we are going to study about football, and in football, we are going to know the law number 6. So, in our previous class, we studied about the law number 5, that is the referee. And today, in law number 6, we are going to know more detail about the assistant referee. So, what is the role of an assistant referee in football game and what are his responsibilities? So, let us know one by one law number 6 in football for you all. So, children, law number 6 is assistant referee. So, these are the few points where the assistant referee plays a very big role. So as you know, there are four officials in football game and one is the main referee who controls the entire game, the entire match between the two teams and he is present inside the field. Then we have assistant referee. So, we have two assistant referees on the line, that is on the halfway touch line, one at the left side and one on the right side, on the touch line. So, what are their equipments, first thing? So, first thing is their uniform, which is similar for all the officials of that particular match. It should be different than the both the teams playing the match and the assistant referee carries a stopwatch, carries a flag, carries a pen and a small book or a small diary to note the important things during the procedure of the match or during the game time. So children, now let us know more responsibilities and duties of assistant referee. So these are the two assistant referees, those who will be looking after the match on left side and on the right side. So what are they going to do? So the first thing is they are going to look after at each end. So one is at halfway line and one is on the another halfway line of the ground. So the ground is divided as into two parts. So one portion, one assistant will look and the second portion, the other assistant official will look after. So first thing is corner kick. So when the corner kick is available for the team which is doing the attacking. So we will look after that corner kick responsibility, whether it is a corner or not corner. Whether the corner is inside the arc, so the ball is being kept inside the arc or no. So this is done by the assistant referee. Then we have second, that is goal kick area. So if an attacking team kicks the ball on the opponent team and the ball goes behind the goal line at any part of the ground. It may be on the right corner or it may be on the left corner behind the touch line. If it is going out by the attacking team, not by the defending team, by the attacking team, while attacking if the ball is been kicked outside of the ground, behind the touch line, behind the goal post area complete line, then a Goal kick is awarded to the opponent which is defending team. So attacking will not get a goal kick. So the goal kick will be awarded to the team which is doing defense. So this is about goal kick. Then we have throw in. Yes. So whichever team, whichever team is kicking the ball outside of the match not in the field, outside of the field during a match. When they are playing a match, the ball is gone 
outside the touch line by any of the players so they will check by which team the ball has gone out and the throw in has been awarded so this care has been taken by this assistant referee then we have substitution yeah in our previous law when you came to know about the substitution process in this process they have a list of the team players and when they are going to change when they are going to replace the players the manager the coach or the player has to intimate to the assistant referee during the match time and this information through the assistant referee is been forwarded to the main referee and in this process they note down which player is coming out which player is going inside and during the stoppage time only this substitution they will do not during the match or the game is playing the game is on not during the on time when the ball is been stopped it may be during throw it may be during free kick it may be during corner kick it may be the ball is gone out during that time they can exchange the or they can replace and the message has been given to the main referee for the change over that's why the flag has been shown by the assistant referee then we have penalty kick so penalty kick it may be during the game time or when the match has been draw when it is a tie up so they check during the penalty whether the player has kicked before the whistle they check whether the goalkeeper has come out of the goal line before the penalty kick whether it is a hand of a defending team inside the d area inside a penalty area they look after this all the things and they have a flag where they indicates offside where they indicate corner kick penalty kick so during this process they look after during penalty kick they look after whether the ball is on the penalty spot or no whether the goalkeeper has come before the whistle outside of the goal line or whether the goal is been scored if it is on the line or whether it has crossed the goal line so they look after the even the goal penalty and the goalkeeper too then we have goal yes so how they will come to know whether it is a goal or no so on the goal line whether the ball has just just touched the line or came outside or whether completely it has crossed the touch line and entered inside the goal post whether it has hit the cross bar just little touch on the touch line of the goal area and came out or it has gone inside so this care has been taken by the assistant referee whether it is a goal or whether it is not a goal so he shows the signal then fourth official so this also plays a very major role as you know there is a third umpire you say in cricket and in football we have fourth official so this fourth official will take care of the match on a tv screen tv recording which the video recording will be going of that particular match so he will look after each and every aspect the change of the player substitution of the player goal penalty timing fouls misconduct throw in throw out direct kick indirect kick so many things the fourth official will look the live match on the tv screen which he will be recording so on that recording the fourth official will be taking care and the most important thing is not only the main referee 
who is controlling the game. Even the two assistant referee, the fourth official, they all have a stop watch because whether the game has been stopped during the injuries or during the fouls, during the KFA kick, corner kick, when the ball has gone out, everything which time has to be added, which time has to be stopped, entire thing right from the start of till the end of the game, from the blow of the whistle of the main referee to start the game and last end of the game the entire time has been taken or not been taken and what is the timing so this timing care is also been taken by this assistant referee and my dear children so there are four officials who will be controlling the entire game of a football match being played between two teams and these are their responsibility these are their roles they take care of the football match with the laws of football. So children, it's time to say bye to you all. I will meet in my next video. Till that, take care. Have a great day. Jai Hind.